what is going on guys? There were two overwhelming suggestions to make on this turbine. And if you're not familiar, this is the tow turbine, which has now become a hang off the waterfall turbine. It was originally designed to be just in a stream, but now the latest test, I've just been hanging it where there's a waterfall. So we're gonna go back there and test. And this is the impeller we used last time. And you can see it's pretty large. And the most comments I received were for increasing the pitch of this impeller turbine whatever you want to call it and reducing the size so i decided to start first by reducing the size just because i figured well it changed it's only changing a little bit but keeping the pitch so this would be a good test as well this one's about half the size overall the only thing that's different is i kept the thickness of the wall and i changed the angle of the chamfer so now instead actually no, it's on this one that has the new chamfer. This one still wants to push it out of the water, which the chamfer, if you're not familiar, is this little angle on this piece right here. So this one's angling out. So what it wants to do is when it's hitting is it almost wants to just push the turbine out of the water versus this one is angled in. So now anytime it touches any bit of the water, it sucks it or wants to suck it in. So with that being said, we're gonna go over and test. And the other thing we're gonna test as well because we weren't able to last time due to the adapter which i have a new one with double the amount of screws they're much larger and this should be much stronger so we're going to test this motor right here which is our 12 volt slash 24 volt uh dc permanent magnet motor i think this one's advertised as 350 watts it's one of them's 350 one's 250 but i believe this is the 350 and then right here this is a much smaller motor and, but it requires a lot more torque because it has a gearbox on it. So it internally speeds it up. And this is also a 12 volt motor, but I think it's rated for like 50 or 60 RPM when this motor needs 2,500. So this motor is a lot bigger, but requires a lot less torque, but a lot more speed. This motor requires a lot more torque, but less speed because of this gearbox you see on the end. So we're gonna go over because they both have an eight millimeter shaft. I figured it's the easiest to test. So we're gonna go over and we're gonna test both of these and whatever one makes more power, we're also going to do in the next video and increase the pitch and see if we can get a decent power output. I think we're still gonna need to add a gearbox to this design. If we stick with this motor and one of these sizes, I think a gearbox is in order, but because it is such a large turbine or there's just enough area and torque, I don't think that'll be an issue at all. So let's find out. And we also have the multimeter and we'll hook up the power and, and I have new test leads, but I also have the old one for testing power if you haven't seen my other videos, but nonetheless, let's head over there and do some testing. All right, we are now out at the water and we're gonna test the large one first. It seems like there's a lot less water volume today. So hopefully we'll get a good baseline, which is what this will be. And then we'll go down to the smaller turbine. And then we'll, after we do the smaller turbine on this, we'll jump down to the smaller motor with the larger turbine and then the smaller turbine on the smaller motor. So let's see what we get. One last, one last full test. We'd hate to lose it. Other than this is a little bit longer, 
so that's probably why we saw a little bit more. So let's switch to the smaller one and see what we can get. We have now swapped over to the smaller impeller. The pitch is the same on this one, so in the next video, whatever one performs better, I'm gonna increase the pitch, but for this one, it's just a smaller, I mean, technically it all shrinks, but it's proportional, so the pitch would be the same. So, let's see how this one does. It should make a little bit more power, according to you guys. It's so tiny. So this one actually doesn't seem like it's going to make enough torque to spin a motor because I'm holding it back right now. I mean, once it starts spinning. So let's see. You can see the cable. So what I think is happening with the smaller turbine and the longer cable, it's allowing it to twist as you saw it was jumping up and bending around. So the turbine did produce more power, but like I said, I mean, there was no torque on this. Like if I tried grabbing the larger one, it'd probably be unfavorable to my hand. So let's swap over to the smaller motor and see if maybe we just need to swap motors. And speaking of which, a lot of people have commented on this video and other ones that I need to try different motors. If you guys can drop a link or send me an email of a motor, I would love to check it out because these ones need a lot of RPM, not necessarily a lot of torque, but a lot of RPM. And some of these projects, I either need to step it up with the gearbox or look into other motors. So if you guys can send me an email at beyondtinted at gmail.com, that'd be awesome. All right, we're now gonna test this motor and I'm pretty sure Spinning it like this, I did it before, you can get 12 volts with your hand, so it's not hard at all. Uh, but the problem is the torque required. I think that the small turbine is just going to jump around with the cable, so let's find out. Alright, small motor. Very weird holding. I think we're going to switch to the larger impeller and 
it should have a more steady flow. But at least it started to spin. Alright, so this one should spin a bit better just because it has way more surface area for the water to apply that torque to. So we're going to throw it in there and see. I don't know what that L was. I don't know if I'm just using that incorrectly. But let's see uh, what kind of power we get with the large one. So that last test showed us that well this this impeller might be a little bit too big and this one might be a little bit too small and our cable might be a little bit too long but i think it's going to come down to the motors and i think there's a lot of different motors that can be substituted in this project and other ones that would work a lot better some of you guys have commented i have a e-bike motor that i'm going to try and convert into an upcoming project so stay tuned for that and again i just wanted to thank you guys because you guys take so much time out of your day to watch my videos comment like really really long comments and i read every single one of them you guys spend so much time giving your input and helping me with these designs and the next one i'm going to drop down that i'm going to increase the pitch but another thing that i want to bring up is patreon i mentioned it before and i have gone through and made one the content that i'm putting over there i think right now i'm going to do behind the scenes kind of stuff a little bit more with you guys i'm going to try and be more involved on that end we can reply to every comment on here but the patreon is beyond the tint and if you guys want to check that out it would mean a lot to me it helps support this and i will see you guys in the next video